Welcome back to our channel, folks. As always, we're thrilled to have you here. Today, we've got something special lined up for you. If you've been wrestling with those stubborn pounds, feeling like you're in a never-ending battle with the scale, this video is just what you need. We're about to dive deep into the most common diet mistakes that could be sabotaging your weight loss efforts. So, buckle up and get ready for an enlightening journey. We're here to help you navigate the maze of weight loss and get you back on track. Let's get started, shall we? Are you struggling to lose weight? Do you feel like you're spinning your wheels and getting nowhere? It's a common dilemma and you're not alone. The path to weight loss can often feel like a maze full of twists, turns and dead ends. One wrong turn can lead you astray. But the good news is it's a maze that can be navigated successfully. Many of us make errors in our weight loss journey without even realizing it. These mistakes can send us off track, leading to frustration and stagnation. But don't worry, every problem has a solution. If you're feeling stuck, it might be time to rethink your approach. In our journey today, we're going to shine a light on the top 10 diet mistakes that could be holding you back. We'll also share strategies to help you sidestep these pitfalls and continue your journey towards your weight loss goals. So, stay tuned as we delve into the top 10 diet mistakes and how you can sidestep them for successful weight loss. Mistake number one, relying on crash diets. Are you guilty of this? When you're eager to shed those extra pounds fast, crash diets may seem appealing. Maybe your chosen diet plan revolves around a single food item like grapefruit or cabbage soup. You might even reduce your daily calorie intake to less than a thousand. And voila, the weight starts to disappear. But here's the catch. Consuming so few calories trains your metabolism to slow down. What this means is that once you abandon the diet, you're left with a slower metabolism. And a slower metabolism means your body burns calories at a less efficient rate, leading to weight regain. So instead of relying on crash diets, aim for a balanced and sustainable diet. Opt for a diet plan that provides enough calories to fuel your body's needs. In the long run, it's not just about losing weight, but also about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Instead of crash dieting, aim for a balanced and sustainable diet that provides enough calories for your body's needs. Mistake number two, skipping the most important meal of the day, breakfast. Now we've all heard that breakfast is the cornerstone of a healthy diet. But why is that? Well, having a balanced breakfast kickstarts your metabolism, setting the pace for the rest of your day. It also prevents overeating later on, as it helps regulate your hunger hormones. So, next time you're tempted to rush out the door on an empty stomach, remember this. Make sure to include a healthy breakfast in your daily routine. Mistake number three, losing track of your snacks. It's easy to do, isn't it? We've all had those moments when we reach into the bag of chips while watching a movie, only to find it empty minutes later. Or perhaps you found yourself mindlessly munching on a chocolate bar while scrolling through your phone. These little snacks, as harmless as they seem, can add up and contribute to excess calorie intake, sabotaging your weight loss efforts. It's important to be aware of what you're snacking on and how often. Snacks aren't the enemy, but they should be consumed mindfully. Opt for healthier alternatives, like a piece of fruit or a handful of nuts, and take the time to enjoy them. One helpful strategy is to keep a food diary or use a food tracking app. By recording what and when you eat, you'll have a clearer picture of your eating habits and be able to make necessary changes. Keep a food diary or use a food tracking app to stay on top of your snacking habits. Mistake number four, not snacking at all. Surprised? Let's talk about why this is a mistake. You see, snacking is not the enemy. In fact, when done right, it plays a crucial role in your diet. Healthy snacks keep your metabolism active, preventing you from feeling overly hungry and overeating during mealtimes. Think of it as a mini fuel stop for your body, so don't skip out on snacks. Include healthy, balanced snacks in your daily diet to keep your hunger in check. Mistake number five, loading up on low-fat foods. Seems counterintuitive, right? We often think that low-fat equals healthy, but that's not always the case. 
Low-fat foods can still be high in calories and sugar. Food manufacturers often replace the fat with sugar to make the product taste good, leading to a calorie count nearly as high or even higher than the full-fat version. Not to mention, our bodies need certain types of fats, like omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, found in foods like fish, nuts, and seeds. Completely cutting out these healthy fats can actually be detrimental to your health. So, what's the solution? It's simple. Always check the nutritional information. Look beyond the low-fat label and pay attention to the sugar and overall calorie content. Opt for whole, unprocessed foods whenever possible. These foods are naturally low in sugar and high in fiber, keeping you fuller for longer and helping you keep your weight in check. Mistake number six, sipping too many calories. Yes, your drinks can be responsible for weight gain too. It's not always the food on our plates that adds inches to our waistlines. Sometimes it's the liquid calories in our cups. That morning, caramel latte, the soda at lunch, the glass of wine in the evening, they all add up. Take sugary drinks, for instance. They're packed with empty calories and don't provide the nutrients your body needs. Alcohol, while it might be enjoyable in moderation, is similarly deceptive. It's calorie dense and can lead to weight gain when consumed in excess. And then we have those high calorie coffee beverages. They seem like an innocent treat, but they can pack as many calories as a whole meal. So next time you're thirsty, think twice before reaching for a calorie laden drink. Choose water, unsweetened tea, or other low calorie beverages to stay hydrated without the extra calories. Mistake number seven, ditching dairy. But isn't dairy high in fat? You may think so, but it's not that simple. Dairy, especially full fat varieties, might be on the no-go list for many dieters. Yet, recent research suggests that our bodies may burn more fat when they receive sufficient calcium. And no, calcium supplements won't do the trick. It seems dairy has a unique offering. The trick is to choose non-fat or low-fat dairy options. Include dairy in your diet, but opt for non-fat or low-fat versions. Mistake number eight, going drive through too often. It's convenient, but it's also a trap. We've all been there. A long day, no time or energy to cook, and there it is, the glowing neon sign of a fast food joint promising a quick, tasty meal. But here's the rub. Fast food is often loaded with hidden calories, unhealthy fats, and sodium. Plus, let's be honest, how often do we manage to order just the salad? Once the smell of fries hits, it's game over. And if you give in to the siren call of the drive through once, it's surprisingly easy to make it a habit. One long-term study revealed that folks who hit the drive through more than twice a week gained 10 more pounds than those who visited less than once a week. So, what's the takeaway? Limit your fast food intake and focus on preparing healthy meals at home. Mistake number nine, setting unrealistic goals. We all want fast results, but is that really achievable? Imagine this, you're all fired up, ready to shed those extra pounds. You declare, I will lose 20 pounds in the first week. While the determination is admirable, this goal is not only unrealistic, but it could also be detrimental to your health. Drastic weight loss in a short period can lead to muscle loss, nutritional deficiencies, and other health complications. Moreover, when we place such high expectations on ourselves and we don't meet them, it can lead to feelings of disappointment and failure. It might even discourage us from continuing our weight loss journey. A better approach? Set achievable, realistic goals. Losing one to two pounds per week is considered healthy and sustainable. Remember, weight loss is a journey, not a sprint. Celebrate every pound lost, every healthier choice made, every step towards a fitter you. Set realistic goals and celebrate your progress no matter how small. And there you have it. The top 10 diet mistakes that could be sabotaging your weight loss efforts. From relying on crash diets that slow down your metabolism to skipping the most important meal of the day, breakfast. We've highlighted the pitfalls of losing track of your snacks and the misconception that not snacking at all is beneficial. We've underscored the danger of loading up on low fat sipping too many calories, and the adverse effects of not drinking enough water. 
We've also delved into the importance of not ditching dairy, the risks of frequenting the drive through and the harm in setting unrealistic goals. All of these are common traps that can hinder your progress towards a healthier you. Remember, the journey to a healthier you is a marathon, not a sprint. Avoid these mistakes and you'll be well on your way. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video insightful and that it helps you to navigate your way to a healthier lifestyle. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really supports the channel and helps us to create more content like this. And remember, subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips. We've got plenty more to share with you. Until next time, here's to a healthier, happier you. See you in the next video.